guys, this is Heidi with Kiddish Corral, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my peanut butter pies. And I make this pretty much every holiday, and it's delicious, and it's a crowd pleaser. So the first thing you're going to need is two chocolate graham cracker crusts. Mine just came from uh, Kroger. You're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese, which I'm going to go ahead and add to my KitchenAid mixer. Yeah, if I can get my spatula here. And as you can see, I've got peanut butter on my spatula because the next thing you are going to need to add is one cup of creamy peanut butter. And a spatula comes in handy when it comes to um, making sure that you get it all out of the measuring cup. So I'm just going to scrape the rest on the beater and basically all you want to do is cream your uh, peanut butter and your cream cheese together till it's really nice and fluffy. So that's what I'm going to do. And I am just using a regular flat paddle. I'm going to go ahead and get my um, chocolate pie crust open. You want to let this beat a while so that it's all nice and combined. And you may even want to stop a couple times and stir the bowl just to make sure that it is completely um, combined together. I'm going to go ahead and open up my pie crust. And you want to save your tops to your pie crust because you will want to use them as your lids for when you have to refrigerate them. And once this gets good and blended together, I will be back and show you what the next step is. Okay, as you can see here, I have my peanut butter mixture and my um, Cool Whip, and I'm just decided to just the remaining of the Cool Whip just to fold it in because I didn't want to get rid of that fluffiness or you know it's kind of like mousse so I'm just carefully folding in the remaining and you want to make sure that the peanut butter mixture is combined through all of the Cool Whip otherwise you're just going to have a Cool Whip pie you're not going to have a peanut butter pie at all <laughs> So I'm going to keep folding until I, and you'll notice as you fold it, it gets really thick and, you know, it takes a little bit more effort to combine it, combine it all together because it gets really rich. So I just want to make sure that I get it good and combined because... Make sure that all your peanut butter mixture is off the bottom of the bowl. As you can see here, I have it all combined. Then I'm going to pull my pie, my pie crust over here. It's early this morning. I'm having issues with talking. It's 27 degrees today, guys. I'm freezing to death <laughs> trying to make these peanut butter right. Okay, so I'm going to half the mixture between the two pies. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oops. Let me pull my camera back up just a tad. There we go. I'm just splitting the mixture, the mousse mi mixture between the pies. Now, if you are in a hurry and you are wanting to eat this today, you can pop this in the freezer for a little while and let it set up faster. Otherwise, I am, since I'm not serving these till tomorrow, I am just going to put them in my refrigerator and they should be good and set for when I need them tomorrow for dessert. Now, 
This is a very rich pie. So small slices go a long ways. So if you're serving a lot of people or you need a really good, rich dessert, this is it. Um, now this definitely would not work if you have people in your family that are allergic to peanut butter. Um, so you may want to find that out before you go serving anybody. But I happen to know that my company that is coming over for dinner absolutely loves peanut butter. Now if you don't like the chocolate pie crust, you certainly can use a plain pie crust. But I think the chocolate really adds to this dessert. And I just want to make sure that I get this all in the pie. And I think I'm just going to get a knife to kind of smooth out the tops a little bit. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to make these look a little bit prettier. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I make these pies look a little bit prettier and a little more tastier. What I have here is a plain Hershey bar. Now, I will tell you, I think that this um, works a lot better if you can freeze your Hershey, Hershey bar for a little while. Um, it makes it harder and more substantial so that when you are using your grater, it actually will kind of hold up a lot better in your hand to grade. So I'm using the larger grading section on my grater. I have a small section and I just use the large section. I think that the small section makes the Hershey bar um, a little bit too small. So basically all I do is, is grate it for a little while. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. But I believe it's worth the while because um, it makes the pie look very presentable and very, very tasty. Who doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate? And when you get down to nothing, you can give up. <laughs> Because you do not want to grade your fingers. Okay, let's see how much we have here. Okay, as you can see, I've got my grated um, chocolate here on the board. And I have my pie. I'm just going to kind of maneuver some stuff around here so I make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing in the video. Okay, you guys can see my pie and all I'm going to do is take those chocolate Hershey shavings and put those all over the tops of my pie. This kind of makes you know all those little imperfections of you know trying to spoon in all of that yummy goodness the cream cheese and the peanut butter and the Cool Whip. It may not look perfect in the pie, but when this is cut, it will look really, really pretty, and it will look like you spent a long time making a wonderful dessert. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put my lid back on my pie like this. And you just if you've never used these type of pie crust before, these are really nice. You certainly can make your own pie crust if you want to, but I just buy the store bought. I just decided to make it as easy as possible on making these pies. Plus, I found that I, I that they're just as 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 is expensive if I had made them by from scratch. So that is the pie. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and it'll be in there all day today and then till we dinner tomorrow so it will set up. But if you want to eat this right away, I highly suggest you just to put it into the freezer and it will set up about a half hour. Um, you don't want it to get frozen solid. You just want it to be set just so that you can cut it and serve it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And I'll be talking to you again soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.